Hello everyone, it's Syscolaps, and I'm back yet again playing Age of Engineering. And in between episodes, I did a fair amount, so let's go take a look and get right to her, because I want to get a lot done today, so let's get right to it. Uh, first off, the industrial grinder. I'm not using it anymore. Um, it was very buggy with power. It was sucking up way more power than it should be able to, and it wasn't really speeding up or anything. I looked it, looked up a little bit, a little bit on the, you know, issues for it. And uh, talked to some people and said, this this mod is just bad for that. So, I'm only going to be using the Tech Reborn machines that I'm forced to. And there's three of them that we're going to have to use later on. At this point now, we do not need the Industrial Grinder at all. Uh, we actually don't need it for the pack, so we won't even be using that. Uh, what I have done here is change the setup completely. So we have four Electrolyzers and Extractor. Instead of grinding it down in the industrial grinder, I'm actually just using double crushers way over there. Double crushers are grinding up uh, ruby ore and bauxite ore. Uh, and then they get sent over here. And then they get sent into these four industrial electrolyzers. Um, these two are set for ruby. These two are set for bauxite. They do the processing. They do their things. And uh, yeah, they give us our... Well, I guess the ruby gives us chrome, and this one gives us the tiny piles of titanium. Then the tiny piles of titanium get sent down here and turned into just titanium dust. Uh, this is just the uh, crafter that I had for sugarcane. We're not using it anymore because, well, in between the videos, I made uh, 64 buckets of uh, Dew of the Void. So I already have that taken care of for the pack, I think. Uh, back here, just, just import chest, export chest, some conduit. Blacklist uh, for compressed air and hydrogen mostly. These ones are just other stuff that I don't want in there, but these were the important ones. Hydrogen and compressed air because, well, we have an extractor over here. I always get lag now whenever I highlight the uh, Yetta wrench because of all the facades I got around here. Um, they get pulled into here and then broken down and uh, turned back into empty cells which then get pumped back into the machines just so they can keep running because you need the empty cells to actually do the processing. So yeah, it's a thing. What's that doing? How much does that take? I thought it only took eight ruby. Oh, it takes nine ruby. That's why it's waiting. Anyway, I get way more ruby than I do bauxite. I actually have the uh, excavator way over there by that tree line. It's uh, doing a bauxite vein. So getting tons of bauxite, we need way more of the uh, titanium than we do of the ruby anyway. So I actually might take that third, one of the, uh, leave only one for ruby and do three for bauxite. So that is the thing. Uh, what we're going to get to do today is uh, the actual processing of those materials. So the these here, the titanium dust and the chrome dust. Um, we can use the blast for our furnace from Te uh, Tech Reborn, but I don't want to. <laughs> we have to use it later on, I think, for uh, tungsten steel. Uh, but I think that's like two ages away. We don't have to worry about it. I think that's when you start dealing with mechanism. Um, we are going to use an arc furnace. And to get the arc furnace, we're also going to have to make a crusher. We have to make the crusher <laughs> so we can make electrodes. Uh, let's go. I'm, just going, I'm typing crusher electrodes. Electrodes. There we go. These puppies here, which are actually made by... Well, you got to crush down... Uh, what is it? You're going to need to crush down, uh, what should we call it? Coke, coke dust in a crusher, and that's the only option. Then you have to run the coke dust through the industrial squeezer to get the hop graphite dust. So you can then make this. But you also have to make the blueprint and engineer's work workbench. Uh, these are graphite electrodes are actually used inside of the arc furnace to make it work. So we're going to get to that. And I have stuff here and stuff here. We're just going to get right to it, so let's let, let's get to it. Actually, one thing i got to do before we do anything, actually, is uh, turn this off. Let's go here, because I need this to run out of fuel. So let's just do, set that to extract really quick. Come here, grab all this stuff, and uh, I guess we'll void that off. I'm not going to worry about it. I have no place to put it. There we go. And then we're going to go set up the crusher. Um... I just need that to drain the liquid so we can actually make the the uh, hop that we need to make. I actually know the recipe for this, or I should say the how to build it pretty much from memory. So I have built it many times. I do like the crusher. 
It is a pretty good machine. Oh, I just gotta fix something here. My headset popped out. The uh, for being plugged in. There we go. Gonna do that. Do that. Gonna throw that there. Gonna throw that there. We're gonna put one down here for no apparent reason. Then we're gonna break it and pick it back up. Uh, we're gonna throw this here, and we're gonna throw that there. Uh, the redstone's gonna go there. <laughs> and this is all in the book. You can look in the manual. It's just I have done this thing enough times to remember it. Uh, I think I'm gonna remember the arc furnace too, actually. <laughs> there we go. There, there, and there. Uh, just need a hammer. Hammer the side. There you go. We've got a crusher. It's good to go. Uh, just need to get hooked up to power. Power nodes right up here on the little orange dot. There we go. Set that to out. Put that there. And uh, I just forgot my ender chest. So let's go grab that. Boom. Uh, let's grab. Let's grab a stack of cold coke. I grabbed one, right? Yep. Let's go up here. And this is the output. It'll spew items on the ground, so you need some kind of inventory there. And uh, I'm just going to use that chest for now. And I'm just going to throw the blocks of coal in there. It's going to start grounding. And we're going to start getting coke dust out. Just like that. Uh, but yeah, that's that. We're going to let that grind things up. And uh, get to work on the arc furnace now. Because that's going to take a little bit. Let's go here. Let's grab all this jazz and head up here. Because this is where we're going to set up this one. This one's actually quite big. It's a 5x5. Five five, so we need a little bit of room here. I'm actually going to build it sunken into the ground one. Uh, just because it is also 5 tall. And these little rooms I've built here are only uh, 5 high. So we'll just have it a little sunken. Not a big deal. I feel like I didn't go back far enough. I didn't. I need a space from the wall too. Because the power on this one is actually on the back. Uh... I think I know this. Let's see here. This will be the test. Test if I remember this one. The one I can never remember is the excavator. I can't remember that one to save my life. It just seems so random to me. There we go. Uh, scaffold. Going to throw that there. What else do we need here? We need steel blocks. Let's grab those. They're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And I think it's heavy engineering right here. So let's do that. Uh, I think that's that for that level. We just need to grab all of these. Let's do this, that, that. I'm sitting inside a cauldron. <laughs> and there we go. That's that. Uh, next we would have to go heavy, 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 heavy. Light, light, light. Come up here. Do this. And two. Then that. There we go. Got to throw the redstone block there. Uh, what are we looking at? I guess we could do this stuff. I think this is just two rows of three. Then three rows, sorry, four rows of three. Then a three by three. Then I think the scaffolds go right here. There we go. And sheet metal. Sheet metal. And is that it? I think so. Yeah. Let's go down here. Uh, we have to break this little block here. This will be uh, what you call it later on a uh, facade. I need my hammer. There we go. We need to hammer the very front of this. If I hammer the top, I don't think it works. But if I do this, it will. There we go. And there's our arc furnace. Just like that. For right now, though, I'm just going to throw an ender chest right here. Get that done. Boop. And uh, go to the back. And we've got three power taps back here. We're just going to take this, set this to out, and just so we get max power into it, we're going to go here and here. And there we go. Oh, helps if it gets a card. And there we go. There we go. Excellent. Let's immediately go grab some stuff here. Actually, we can't yet. We need to get that. That's probably not done yet, though, is it? It's probably not even close because I did uh, a stack. Uh, I need my sword. There we go. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, it's going along, going pretty good here. We got pretty much all of it. Oh, we got all of it. Good. Let's go down here. Let's head down here. And let's get this going then. Let's uh, throw that in there. There we go. 
And uh, actually, while that's processing up, we'll do some more crafting. We actually need to make the engineer's workbench. There we go. Where is it? It's looking at me. There it is. Uh, we need to make treated wood sticks. I definitely don't have that. Gonna need to make fences. Definitely don't have that. Probably a crafting table, and that's probably the engineer's workbench right there. So that's the gear. Bam. I have some to hop on me, which isn't helpful. Let's go down around here. And that's all done. Let's throw the last of the uh, coke dust in there. There we go. Excellent. Now we just need to go smelt this up real quick. I'll just throw that into the electric furnace here. It is still one of my faster ways of smelting things. Couldn't do that. Now we need to make the blueprint. Let's grab that. Blueprint. The blueprint's right here. Pretty cheap. Just need to hop uh, graphite to do it. So that's the thing. Take that. I can throw that in there. Go in here. Clear that, I guess. Uh, grab all the hop we have. Guess they're all done. Excellent. Oh, was there any more in there? Did I see one more? I did. Might as well grab it all. Go in there and uh, just make a bunch of these. So that's effectively done. Um, let's go grab a bunch of this. So let's grab all over chrome because we don't have much. And I guess like six stacks of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this holds 12, I think. So we might be able to do the whole batch. Anyway, let's go see. I think it's 12. The internal inventory on it? We'll see. Oh, oh I would too. Need derp. I need to add uh, travel anchors over on these side things somewhere. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, it is 12. So I could just throw the uh, electrodes up here. Then I can just start throwing in material. And it'll start grinding things out. And <laughs> sending them out. It's going to send it to the chest. I'll have to make a compacting drawer for this stuff. Or maybe just a drawer. But uh, we'll get to it. I need four of this chrome right now. So I'm going to grab that. Just curious on the power. Yeah, this thing's already using 5,000. <laughs> I know it's a power hog once you start loading it up. Uh, we need to take four of this. Oh, four of this and put that there. We're actually going to get to the next age. To get to the next age right now, all we need to make is go here. Lib Vops. Lib Vops? Is that a, I don't know how you spell it. Lib V O L P S. Okay. Uh, machine structure box. And all that needs is four of this chrome and four steel rods. And this is what has got me when I looked at the guide. When I looked at this age, you have this giant wall of text. When all it really needed to tell me <laughs> was I needed to make an electrolyzer, I needed to grind down uh, bauxite and rubies. Actually, I didn't even need to grind down rubies for this age. I just needed to grind down bauxite, uh, make plates. <laughs> Not even bauxite, it was rubies. I had to ground down rubies, um, get chrome, uh, smelt it, turn it into plates, and then make this and I'm out of the age. That's all it really needed to tell me. But it told me this giant massive wall of text that just kind of confused me. I kept reading it and going, I must need this. I must need this. No, most of it's for the future. I, I don't know why they did it that way. It just kind of confused me. It's a little convoluted, I think. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. We've got our machine structure. And there we go. We're in age 11, the space age. And that opens up, well, I guess space, um, all of advanced rocketry. So in this pack, you need to, well, go to space. You need to go to space. Uh, you need to go to the moon. Uh, you also need to go to other planets. And I've done all of that except for go to other planets. I've never had to make the warp core and actually fly around in our space station. So that is pretty cool. And uh, I'll get to try that out. It is a pretty cool mod. I enjoy Advanced Rock Trees. It's a pretty cool mod. Uh, but uh, we'll get to that when the time comes. I'm not in a giant rush for it. Going to throw that out there. Um, so I think that's... Oh, I know one thing I need to do right away. Before I do anything else, I should probably set this to insert so we start getting power out of these again. 
There we go. Let's start going, right? Yes. Okay. Excellente. Okay. So, the next thing I want to get to. We're going to get to... I want to get into wireless AE crafting. So, we're going to get to that. I want this. This is an add-on to AE, wireless crafting terminal 2. We're going to get that. So, it's a little bit of work, though. You need to get all this jazz. Uh, this jazz. All this jazz. There's a whole lot of jazz here that we got to get. <laughs> But the main thing I want to get, it's not just a, you know, your normal little wireless crafting. There's an Infinity Booster card, which pretty much turns it into the same version as the RF Tools tablet, where it's cross dimension and infinite range. So we're going to make that. So we're going to get right to that. Uh, we're going to need this, this. I know, I think we need like four of those. So I'm just going to throw those in there. I want to get back to the wireless first, though. Because there is a little process to this and something we got to do here. And actually, before we even get to this, let's get to the other part. Uh, you need singularities to do this. So singularities are these. They need to be made in the matter condenser. You need to pump random items into it. Uh, and it takes a lot. Does it say here? 256,000 per item. Uh, we're going to kind of cheese that in a nice little way here. So we're going to go to fluid tanks. We need fluid tanks. These ones. The uh, chiseled bit fluid tanks. We're going to make three. Uh, apparently we're making four. I only want three right now. We're going to want matter condensers. We're going to want three of those. Two, three. We're going to want transfer nodes. We need both kinds. So let's grab three of these. Two, three. And I guess three of these. One, two, three. I should have some pipe in here. Obviously, I just crafted with it, right? Grab six of those, I guess. I know I got a bunch of speed upgrades here and some stack upgrades there we go and there we go i think that's everything we need oh uh reservoirs there we go probably need some cauldrons there we go i think that's everything we need okay let's go set these up i'm just gonna do a temporary setup right now i just want to get it up and running uh and pump it out a singularity so we can get through this recipe because this will take a couple minutes to get done do that gonna have to do this one two three there we go get off that get off my yetta wrench so it stops lagging me let's get a uh, bucket we just need one there we go grab two buckets of water throw this here so this here, uh, we're going to grab three chiseled tanks, one, two, three, there we go. Um, going to want to grab these transfer nodes here, the water ones, throw them in there. We're going to need three pipes. Uh, unfortunately, I need my Yetta wrench again. Break these connections because we don't need them. Um, Take half the stack upgrades. Actually, let's do it this way. I want only five of these. There we go. That'll work. Okay, my pack randomly crashed when I uh, tried to put upgrades in here, but it seems okay now. So, we should be good. Each one has a stack. Five uh, speed upgrades. Uh, we're going to grab these matter condensers. We're going to throw these here. There we go. Throw them right there. Then we're going to put transfer nodes right here. And right here. And I will move this in between episodes. I just want to get three of these done real quickly. Because, well, we need three. So let's do that. And that. Uh, break the connections. And uh, I guess we'll just... Uh, ooh, I have chiseled bits. I don't want those. Let's go here. I'm going to break these up into three stacks, I guess. Fifteen's fine. Let's do that. Oh, are you serious? I just trashed my, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to make two more stack upgrades. That's not a big deal. Let's grab one, two, three, four. I just <laughs> trashed, uh, two of them. By mistake. Do do. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Go behind here. Because this is where my resonator has been sitting. Because I haven't been using it. Other than to make more stone burnt. 
Here we go, because we're going to probably need more uh, water mills pretty soon. I've been just adding them when I need them. Go here, go to use, go to that stack there, right? Yeah, one, two, no. There and there. And there's our stack upgrades. And I guess we can just get these in here. And here. Okay. We're going to change the settings on these to go to condense into singularities on all three. Then we're going to run over here and grab, I already made them the 64Ks. Now that I'm thinking of it, I'm going to make a 16K because that actually takes a little while. So, oops, is that a 16? Yes. Start that. There we go. And grab one of these and throw it into each one. And we're going to see that the items start just flying up. And that's what this is all about. Cheesing these uh, chiseled bit water, uh, water tanks, or fluid tanks, I should say. Because basically that turns one block of water into like 4,000 chiseled bits that you can just keep transferring into these over and over and over. Because uh, it just keeps filling up with water. Uh, into items that can be condensed into singularities. So... Just kind of a way to cheese it. You can see it's already up to 30,000. It's not going to take that long. But we're going to get on to some crafting here. So let's get to that. So wireless uh, crafting terminal. This is what we need. We need to do the regular terminal first. Uh, I might be able to just straight up do that. Let's see here. There we go. Let's do that. Uh, make the dents. Good. We also need to make... Receivers? I need to make several of those. Let's see here. Let's try that. I think 3D is about right. And ME terminal. I have those on craft. So that's cool. There we go. And can we make that? Yes, we can. We got the wireless terminal now. Now we just need to make this. So a Flux Pearl. There we go. Let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. Uh, and we just need Emmy Crafting. Let's grab that. Emmy Crafting. There we go. We got that. Let's throw that in there. And we already got our wireless crafting terminal. Uh, we're also going to need a wireless access point. Let's grab one of those. There we go. One of these. I already made that. I should already have everything for that. There we go. And we need, what is it? A security... What is it called? Emmy Security Terminal. One of those, that's why I need the 16. I'm going to need another Emmy Terminal. Let's grab one of those. There we go. Already done. There's our chest. Let's get rid of that. Anything else there? Doesn't look like it. And we're good to go. Let's uh, head down here. I need to get my sword back here because I keep trying to hotkey it and go to the wrong spot. I'm just going to throw this into a temporary spot right now just to get up and running. I'm probably going to just stick it somewhere out of sight. But uh, right now it's got a channel, it's got power, and that's what I need. Oh, we're going to grab the wireless terminal, throw it in here. And I'll now say link status is linked, which is what we want. We're going to run over here, grab this access point. I guess I don't even need it there. It's probably going to get moved. But now it's uh, connected wirelessly. And this is close enough. I think this only works up to like 16 blocks. Yeah, 16 meters. And uh, right now we can access our stuff. But if we go outside that 16 meters, we're not going to be able to access it. So if I go like over here, yeah, wireless out of range. But we're going to finish that, fix that. Those are almost done. Uh, let's look at what we need now for the uh, infinity. Infinity booster. There we go. That is no problem. That's just over in the mining dimension. We can grab that anytime. Uh, we're going to need ender pearl dust. And I think we need four of these. So let's grab four. One, two, three, four. Grab those. We're going to run over and macerate this down. There we go. Grab that. And back here, grab one of those, the booster cards. 
These boost the range on just the regular AE uh, access points. I don't know how much are each, maybe like 16 blocks, maybe 32. I, I honestly not sure. This is almost done, excellent. There's one singularity, there's two. That one's almost done. Just just finish for me. Finish for me. There we go. We got our first singularities. Uh, we need those with this. We're also going to need a lever. There we go. And we're going to need one more thing here. Oh, uh, something to explode. So let's grab tiny TNT. Probably our best bet. Let's grab a couple. Actually, let's grab under pearl. Couple more ender pearl dust. My thing's broken downstairs again too. I can see that I'm just burning off ender pearls again, which means my uh, energetic generator is out of sync again, and I need to fix it. Let's grab uh, ender pearl. There we go. Dust. I think that's everything. I just grab those in case we fail on one of the attempts because I've done that before. We're going to go to the mining dimension now because our mining booster is there. So that is one of the components. Uh, but we're just going to make the singularities over here for right now too. Ooh. Loading leg. Go into here. We are just going to break this. There we go. I should come and break this down sometime soon. I do not need it anymore. I'm going to throw one of those there. Going to throw a lever here. Then we're going to come here, I guess, and go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we should be able to just do this. Boom. Tiny little explosion. And there we go. We got quantum entangled uh, singularities. Each one of them turned into two. Well, maybe. Oh, one of them didn't change. What's up with that? See, that's why I brought the extra dust. Because that other dust got destroyed, right? Yep. No, that did change. Okay, excellent. I've had that happen to me before. Anyway, <laughs> it worked fine, I guess. So we got our Ender Pearl Dust and our Quantum Tangle Singularities. We can actually go and make this now. We're actually pretty much finished with this. And, uh, whoa, where am I? There we go. Let's go here. Let's go to Infinity. Grab one of these. And can we make it? Most likely. One there. One there, and there. And there we go, infinity booster card. Grab that, go here, and bam. Now we can use this anywhere now. This this is, I can use it here. Let's go to the mining dimension. There we go, oops, go here. Should be able to use it cross dimension, no problem now. There you go, cross dimension. It's pretty cool too because it's got the armor in here it's got that it's even got a trash can right here so be very careful <laughs> and this is for if you want to you i think you can make a magnet card yeah right here the magnet card you can configure it with a uh, like a, a filter so it only pulls certain things i think so it's kind of cool but uh yeah it'll just automatically insert things that you want into ae <laughs> which is pretty neat i've never actually used that aspect of it but it is a cool thing um, but yeah, we've, uh, done pretty good today. I mean, we've already made an arc furnace. We made a crusher. We made, uh, a very simple setup to get up, you know, singularities. I'm going to actually take this, put it in the wall somewhere where it's kind of out of sight. And, uh, probably, I'm not going to be using these modular storage now that I have this. Um, so I'm going to probably hook the drawers up to that and, uh, get a whole bunch of these. Because every time you want to make, I didn't mention that either, in this pack. Anytime you want to make a draconic core, in this pack, it takes sing a quantum triangle singularity. So you are going to end up needing quite a lot of them. Not an insane amount, but a good amount. So it is definitely something you're going to want. So uh, they are a thing. So anyway, I think I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.